So continuing with the podcast number two, I would like to continue from where I left. So I was talking about all the resources that I collected. I would like to tell you that there were so many ebooks that I collected that I was actually lost. You know, if you keep on collecting more and more study material, what happens at the end is that whenever you wake up, whenever you open your laptop, you see a lot of pending work. I saw those ebooks, I saw those lectures, I saw those Anki decks as my pending work, piled up work. So it was a burden on me. So subconsciously, that burden was always traveling with me. No matter how hard I tried, I was like always thinking, see, I have to do sketchy, I have to do MTV, I have to do this and that and blah, blah. Okay, so I was always preoccupied with the thoughts that I am not doing anything. Because according to me, those resources that I had in my laptop, I had to read those. So you might be laughing while listening to this because this is such an unrealistic goal that how can a person read all the books available for a particular subject, right? So for example, for physiology or for pathology, we had BRS series. So I used to hear people, you know, saying that I've read whole BRS series. So there was also a high yield series high yield neuroanatomy, high yield anatomy and all that. So people used to, uh, you know, uh, whenever I used to open YouTube or whenever I used to talk to my study partners and all, so they used to tell me, I we have completed this book, we have completed this book, but, but, my dear, remember that these all are very unrealistic things, you know. It is, you know, Easier said than easier done. It's always like we can advise someone very nicely, just like I do. But I know how hard it is to do, to implement that task. You know, I have to be realistic with you guys. I, you know, whenever I post something on Instagram or whenever I am making these podcasts also. So somehow I feel that although I'm trying to motivate you guys, but... I really want to stay realistic because it's not that I cannot, you know, advise you okay, do this and do that. <coughs> Sorry, pardon me. But I will only advise you what's realistic, what's beneficial and what you can easily do to score high. So continuing with the journey, eventually day by day, day by day, everything, you know, it went in vain. I was in total frustration. I took long breaks because I knew I was failing. I took my first NBME and I failed badly in that NBME. I still remember that phase. I cried a lot. I thought that, you know, leave the exam. You cannot even pass the NBME. How are you gonna you know, pass the exam, leave the high school also. So this was how badly, you know, I was broken down. Both physically and mentally, I was not doing good. So this physical stress, it posed a lot of, you know, harmful and deleterious effects on my mental health as well. So as in the first podcast, I already told you that my mental health was not in a good phase during that time. So I used to, you know, find ways by which I could, you know, just ignore my studies. I wanted some ways by which I could, you know, just run away from everything and everyone. So what I used to do was I, you know, opened the book. And I used to get lost in all the thoughts. Mostly those thoughts were negative thoughts, to be very honest. I used to think I will never be able to do that. I don't have any contacts. I, you know, uh, I won't be able to make it overall. So this was what was going on in my life. I gained a lot of weight. And looking 
at myself in the mirror was the weirdest and the most hurtful thing in the morning so that was very depressing for me so as time passed the gap between my preparation also prolonged and that gap is very dangerous and due to that gap my anxiety and stress were you know piling up and i was totally totally a mess so on one fine day my mother told me that it's high time that you take a slot because after that we're not going to listen you're going to take the indian pg if you want to go to us then you have to take a slot and decide a particular date and set your target and take the exam because it has already been one year you have been wasting time so what was happening with me was that i used to live alone i used to live in gurgaon after my graduation and i used to prepare for my usmle exam in fact i took coaching from a, a institute also but it did no good to me i wasted a lot of money to buy books that were not needed to go to the coaching that was totally a time waste as well as it was you know the wastage of the hard earned money of my father also so my mother asked me to take a slot and i eventually took it so i took a slot of uh, march april and uh, may what happened was that after i took the slot the anxiety level rose to a very next level and day by day day by day everything was changing i was feeling so burdened but i knew that this time it is going to be you know this way or never so what i decided was that i will give the last 3 months as the most productive 3 months of my life because i knew that if i didn't do well in this exam step 1 exam or if i fail this exam my parents will ask me to take the indian pg and to settle for something that i would have never really wanted in the coming podcast i'll be telling you how my mind kept on changing how you know everything my thoughts kept on evolving around india as well as us so i was confused because the situations i was facing were totally messed up so that is how the circumstances you know made me think a lot about my choices some and there were days when i used to cry a lot because i felt that i wasted a lot of time my batch mates either they took their seats in the indian pg or some of them were working i did not work after my graduation for around 1.5 years i did not earn anything i was li- living on my father's expenses and trust me that was the major burden that i had this was uh, you know a very guilty feeling that i used to feel every day so what i did was that i used to say to myself that simran study for today study for the next 3 days study for the next week or month and so and after that you gonna definitely repay the debt to your parents because they have sacrificed a lot for you and honestly speaking my parents have done a lot of a lot of hard work for me so in the next podcast i'll be telling you how this journey went on and how i managed to you know start those 3 months with the intensive phase and how i coped up with my mental health issues as well so i hope you are liking these podcast i you know decided to um, uh, upload these podcast because i really wanted to share what i went through because i cannot reply to each and every message on instagram it is very tedious task so i really from the bottom of my heart i wanted to share my personal experience because sometimes it's always better to share your own experience and you know it's better that someone else can learn from my mistakes i would be so much grateful and happy if you know you guys score well and you get matched 
because I know that this is just one life and we're gonna live it only once. So try to fulfill your dreams by working hard but in the right direction. Good night and take care. Bye-bye. I'll see you in the third podcast.